One of these names is the new voice of Mario. Hey everybody, Jake here, and the Mario Wonder demo that you've been hearing about in kiosks across the country has apparently, somebody's gotten their hands on it, and it has been data mined. Now, the names seem to be from different regions, so that may be a list of voice actors for a bunch of different languages, but check this out. At Mondo underscore Mega on Fami Boards has compiled this information and done some investigating leading to this chart. Let me tell you what they say. By process of elimination, our new Mario & Luigi is, most likely, Mick Winger. Given there's only three male American actors and one is Kenny James, technically it's worth considering Afghani as well, but his Genshin character sounds pretty close to the flower, so I'm fairly confident. As for the rest, Samantha Kelly, Kenny James, and Katie Segoin are here. The latter two are certainly reprising their usual roles. Technically it's possible, given she has multiple roles, that Samantha Kelly is only voicing the Toads now, and Peach is someone else, but I think it's fair to assume it's still her for now. Yoshi and Daisy appear to have been definitively recast, though. Disappointing, Deanna Mustard hasn't been given any, any fanfare at all if she'll no longer be involved with the series. Her and Kazumi Totaka were the longest-running Mario voice actors behind Charles himself. Nabbit was already given a different voice a while ago with New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe and Mario Kart Tour, but neither game has voice credits, so we still don't know who it is. All of the remaining American VAs have voiced for Fire Emblem before, so they'd certainly be on NOA's list. Pick between Daisy, Yoshi, Nabbit, Prince Florian, and the Poplins, possibly Peach if you think she's been recast, for who they could possibly be voicing. If Rosalina is somewhere in the game, like people expect, she would need to be recast. Laura Faye Smith isn't here either. So again, that's kind of the context behind this list, behind this investigation. You can see a lot of these names on this chart matched up with different talking flowers for different languages, and then again, the names matched up with the characters that this user thinks they are, and I think that this investigation is sound. So it is very likely that Mick Winger is, in fact, the new voice of Mario. Now, what's funny to me about this is kind of like looking through Mick Wingert's uh, Wikipedia page, the most prominent role that he has really had so far to me, the kind of recurring thing that stands out is that in a lot of like animation and stuff, he keeps voicing uh, Tony Stark in Iron Man, you know, out in like the What If series, you know, that contemporary Marvel series. So Iron Man and Mario, they could be the same, allegedly, according to this data mine of that Mario Wonder kiosk demo. We will, of course, keep you up Updated if there's any more news on this story, but let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Tony Stark Mario House, the new guy doing. Let me know. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.